Hi, amazing soul family. I have a very deep message to you all. Why so much grief, anger, jealousy, and division, especially in the spirit community? Really, I don't understand because we are triggered in our shadows, because we slowly transcending the high check matrix, and now we are shocked to see what happened here on earth. For example, I did a reaction video onto the shocking news about the Burning Man. And almost every comment was just about, yeah, it's okay, it's their fault, it's just sex and drugs. So it was a satanic ritual, it's their fault that they are surrounded by mud now. And so much more. Do you know how deep the rabbit hole goes? The spiritual community is infiltrated too everywhere in every community and when we talk about the burning man is evil evil and satanic we must speak about all communities what if shamanism is infiltrated then let's talk about tomorrowland they work with the eye of yahweh you study ashana din you know what it is in fact all communities are hijacked and infiltrated but what happens see sometimes i wear nike shoes oh nike is saturn this sign suck this is the saturn ring maybe you have some nike clothings maybe adidas the german company maybe you have some adidas shirts in your home does this make you an evil and a satanic person now? Dive deeper into this, what this is, Metatron. Just saying, why are we doing this? Why so much grief? It's highly toxic. Do you understand this? I dive very deep into this. We are even not allowed to join a concert or a festival because standard is drinking alcohol. Ha. And when you dive deeper into it, what alcohol is, it's satanic. Do you see this? What happens? It's our heart. When we continue, we do exactly what they want and we never, ever, ever, ever unite. And these are just ego battles. It's just about if the AI takes over or not. Everything else are meaningless ego battles, distraction. If we merge biologically with the AI or not. Everything else, just distraction, ego battles. And we tell each other, you are evil, you are Satan. Guys, we are all sinners. We are all sinners because the entire matrix was infiltrated. We are transcending it together. And maybe you have Nike shoes at home yourself. Or one single shirt by Adidas. Does this make you an evil person? A satanic person yourself? Is this what we want? No. And this is my message to the spiritual community. So much grief and hatred in the spiritual community. We are afraid. Talking about psychopaths sociopaths and narcissists because we tell each other you just spread fear but sorry i just see this in the spiritual community when i watch videos psychologically videos and a psychologist talks about typical traits of a psychopath or about a sociopath most people are grateful they are grateful thank you so much for explaining to me what a narcissist is because when we talk about negative aliens, we talk about narcissism, psychopathy and sociopathy. There is no difference. It is exact the same. Sorry guys, I see this just in the spiritual community. And when you are curious and you just try to understand how a psychopath plays, has nothing to do with spreading fear because these beings are real. Their brains are simply working different and the brain of an empath works different again. That's all about that we understand how to navigate the storm. It has nothing to do with spreading fear to decrease your vibration. These beings help you to understand who you are and stay focused on your line. 
please stand together. In fact, we are all in this together now. Yes, having compassion for these beings. And you always love them. You as an empath, you cannot hate a person. You even cannot hate a psychopath. But you must place a boundary. And you can say no and still love a person. It's possible. Why are we doing this? So much war in the spiritual community. This makes me worried. So what if you fell for some satanic lies yourself? Your intent was love. What if we are all in this? And suddenly something happens to you. And you see the people talking about you. Yeah, it's simply your fault. God is punishing you. No one is punishing us. God is unconditional love. Why should God punish its own children? Why? Yahweh, yes, Yahweh from the Old Testament is doing this. But this is infiltrated. You feel it, it's not real. It's man-made. The rain was man-made. And is this not sad enough? No, we are fighting each other. Haha, <laughs> it's simply their fault. Now they are suffering. What is going on? Your heart is what's crucial.